Hi everyone, welcome to The Word at One for Thursday, May 6th. We're continuing our series on how God shows his superiority over the little G's of this world. And one of the most significant little G's is Baal that we see in the Old Testament. He's considered to be kind of the master of the gods, the Lord of the Lords, and the people of the Canaanites would actually worship Baal. And the worship of Baal at this point of what we're gonna look at in 1 Kings of the prophet Elijah, that worship has gone all the way up to the top to where King Ahab and Queen Jezebel worship Baal. And so God is going to establish his superiority over Baal using the prophet Elijah. So the prophets of Baal have been dancing all around this altar for hours upon hours, all day long, calling on Baal to call down fire. Nothing happens. And then Elijah has them pour water all over the altar multiple times. And then he prays this prayer from 1 Kings chapter 18. Or, At the time of the sacrifice, the prophet Elijah stepped forward and prayed. O Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known today that you are God in Israel and that I am your servant and have done all these things at your command. Answer me, O Lord, answer me, so these people will know that you, you, O Lord, are God and that you are turning their hearts back again. And the fire of the Lord fell and burned up the sacrifice, the wood, the stones, and the soil, and also licked up the water in the trench. When all the people saw this, they fell prostrate and cried, The Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. When God establishes his power and his authority in this world and in our lives, it's for the purpose of turning our hearts to him. He's focused on our hearts. He's not just focused on what we do, but he's focused on how our hearts turn towards him, means that out of the outflowing of that comes obedience to him. And out of the outflowing of that comes that cry out to him, the Lord, he is God, the Lord, he is God. And so we see these evidences of God's power and we cry out against the gods of this world no, our hearts are with him. Our hearts belong to him. And our mouths cry out, the Lord, he is God. And from that, we obey him because he is truly the way to life. Truly the way to knowing God Almighty is to know the big G and to let go of these little Gs. See you all tomorrow.